What is up, the world of YouTube? This, of course, is Corvus YSD, and as always, you can just call me for it. Alright, so we're on a new server here. We're going to start a new season, new episode. This will be episode one. Yes. And we are here in Revamped Art. It is on the Xbox One. And since there are no mods, obviously, they've got to do other things. So, this is a modded server, but without the whole PC mod, so you don't get all the super amazing dinos, unfortunately. But, they did do a few things. They've got 30 stone pickups. they got no food, water, or stamina drain. There's instantane, custom drops, aberration dinos. So, you've got the aberration dinos. you get got the regular dinos. you got all the dinos right here. With the exception of the reapers, which I understand. Reapers are like and then of course rock drakes and basilisks we'll learn about those later but of course you just pay a price for those you've got 300 leveled per player you've got 900 max leveled dinos you've got unlocked engrams all of them you've got tech items and drop bosses for bosses and that sounded stupid i just repeated myself i mentioned You've got breeding multipliers of mating and hatching at X50, maturing X20, imprinting X1. So those are pretty much what we're going to be looking at here in this world. And let me go back into first person. There we go. There's some rules around this server. We've got a Facebook group right there. You can see that. Max player, 300. Max level guy, 900 as I said. No trolling or the name human. Do not use the name human. Come up with something. Anything. No land grabbing, pillaring, foundation. Unless you plan to build there immediately. See, no artifact resource blocking. No glitching. Don't leave dinos everywhere. Clean up your traps. Old bases. Don't leave dinos on wander or on. Any dinos left around the map will be killed unless you tell admin you lost your dino. Uh -huh. To get a rock drake, ah, here we are. To get a rock drake, you must get basilisk scales. Level 10, 150, you know what, just skip that, skip that, go to the bottom, level 900, ah, 60 scales. Same concept to get a basilisk, except the rock drake buttons, okay? So I need 60 scales from a basilisk to get a rock drake, and I need 60 feathers from a rock drake to get a basilisk. I can do that. I can do that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do today is probably find somewhere to live. Let's pick up one item here and see what we get for loot. Let's see. Gather something here. Anything. There we go. 60 wood, 59 thatch on one stick. That's nice. That's nice. I don't have anything to do that with, so I can't do that. Oh, hello. Uh, no. No. Leave me alone. Alright. So, let's see what we can do around here. Obviously, this is the Ragnarok server. They put it on the map, Ragnarok. So, there should be, if I'm not mistaken... Uh, nope, that's Sandpot. There should be crates somewhere around here. <clears throat> Let's see, uh... If I was a wooden crate, well, if I was a wooden crate, I wouldn't be able to tell you where I was. Let's see, because I know they're around. Swim around rock here. Keep swimming, keep swimming. Tired of swim. Oh, there we go. There's a crate right there. Okay. So we're gonna go break this crate. Oop, someone got a raft out there. And we're gonna break this crate. And we can't break this crate. Let's see. Oh, sleepy person. Okay, well let's see. Since it is uh not it's so oh I've already got 299 points so that means I'm already level 300 awesome so let's give myself some health here and let the 
Ingram's load up there. There we go. And of course, since it is the Aberration Dinos and the regular Dinos and the Scorcher Dinos all in the same server map, you obviously not only unlock the Tech Ingrams from the regular stuff, but you also get all the Tech Ingrams from Aberration. So if you don't have Aberration and you don't have Scorched Earth, this server might be the kind of server you're looking for. All you gotta do is find one that says it has Ab Dinos on the Xbox One and you too can play in a game that has Aberration Dinos. All right, give myself some weight here. Oh, 10,000, 20,000, we'll say 20,000. Give ourselves some fortitude because we don't want to like freeze to death or nothing. Obviously, we need some stamina. Get ourselves some stamina here. And yes, I say stamina, not stamina, just because I'm different, I'm unique, I'm original. And that banner is speaking anyway. Alright, so give myself a lot of that. And since we don't have to eat, we don't need food, we don't need water up. Alright. And actually, I don't know why I put some in the stamina now that I think about it, because we don't run out of stamina. Stamina will not be going. Let's give ourselves. Uh, let's see, 122. What's up? Like, put ourselves a run. Not bad. Give ourselves a little bit more of that. So we'll do a little bit more right there. Uh, a little bit more movement speed. Three more clicks of it. There we go. Now we're moving. All right. Let's see. And I will be back as soon as I get all these stat points because of the fact that I have to add them all, and I don't want to make you sit here and watch me do that. All right, and we're back. Okay, so I went ahead and I did all my stats, and I'll bring them up real quick. We've got 5,000 health, almost 6,000 health. We've got regular stamina. We've got about 20,000 oxygen just because of the fact that, you know what? When you go underwater, you want to really breathe underwater. And, of course, food, water, nobody cares. And weight is 20,000. I didn't push that up too high just because of the fact that once you get a certain height, it'll bring up that little black, uh, little weight looking design in the bottom that means you can't carry anything regardless how much more you can carry of course you've got i put my melee damage up to 1330 and movement speed of 152 and crafting speed of 300 and fortitude of 120 and torpidity is just well torpidity you can't boost that which is actually a lie because you can boost it but it's 342 and it doesn't get boosted that much. And here we are at night in the dark alone. No one can hear you scream at night in the dark. Okay, so the first thing obviously we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to go get some supplies and punch some trees and there's a bush. Let's get some bushes here. And by the way, I forgot to mention that this is a practic practically an instantane server so um yeah it doesn't take much to actually tame some of these Ooh, what's this flower uh wood oh that's not okay so we got a little bit of fiber and now we're going to go find a tree to punch get ourselves some wood whoa it was a high jump Okay, so there's a whip. Nope, don't have to punch a tree. Branches right there. And now we gotta find a little rock. And a little rock. I think the first thing we're gonna do today is probably find somewhere to live. Find a place to put a house. Because on a server like this, on an Xbox um, server like this, normally when you go to a boosted server like this, it's really hard to find a place to live just because of the fact that there's so many people everywhere. They've got, you know, random dinos everywhere, stuff like that. 
So, what we'll probably need to do is basically find a house. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to build ourselves some tools. Alright, so we got our stone pickaxe. I did that off screen, obviously. And then, of course, now we're going to... Uh, doesn't look like we're going to do anything because I did not get any flint. Why didn't you guys tell me I didn't get any flint? That was nice of you. Thanks. Alright, so now we got the flint. And now we can go back here. And we can build that. And how many can we make of this? We can make 13. Yes, I want all 13 this thing. And I think I already have a fire. Scroll down. Let's see. Do we have a campfire? Yes, we have a campfire. So we're going to take all three campfires. I don't know why I made three, but I made three. We're going to put them there. Then we're going to take, we'll put the axe in our bar and our spears in our bar. Nope, in the bar. There you go. Okay. Obviously, it's not letting me put them in the bar. back down. See that guy? Right there. There we go. Alright. I don't know what happened, but it's fixed now. There we go. Alright, so we got our spear, we got our hatchet, and we got our pickaxe. And it also has I apologize, but it also has uh, custom drops on the supply drops. So that's always good. So we can always go find some supply drops and do some stuff there as well. Alright, so Let's see. Uh, of course, since it does have aberration dinos, if you find any of the shoulder glow pets like the shine horn, the glow tail, the light feather, uh, there's an actual island in this game where they have them all in the Ragnaroks in this server. And we'll probably go over there sometime once we get some species Z seeds and go get one. Because um, those are going to be helpful. Basically, what they're going to do is they're going to tell us when we're near max level dino. Alright. So. Oh, I almost forgot. Can we make one yet? Torch? Torch? Anyone? Torch? Yes. We can make a torch. So, let's go ahead and make that torch. And I'm going to make another torch. And go back here. Go down. I am going to lag a little bit because for some reason the internet um, in my neighborhood is been kind of wonky lately. And now we're in the dark. With it. Yeah, I swim extremely fast with the movement speed I've got. So, yeah. Be prepared to see me move pretty quickly. And, oh. Enter pen code. Uh, I don't know if I remember the thing goes. Was that it? No. Uh, what was the thing goes? Uh, no. They used to have, um, actual species Z seeds in those. But it doesn't look like they do anymore because I don't remember seeing any information about that up here on this. Yeah, see, I didn't remember seeing it anymore. So they may not be doing that anymore since you can pretty much go to a lot of the drops and get species CCs. Alright, so head on down here. We'll head on down here. What level is it? Doesn't matter. Here's the place to play for. 780 out of 900. That's good, but I want a little bit higher. Because if we're going to find a place to live, we're going to need transportation. And when I say transportation, I mean we're going to need to be able to fly around this place. Because flying is the way to get around the arc, obviously. If you've ever played Ark, it's fun. Flying's what you do. 
All right, so I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna try and um, find myself a good level uh, pterodon. And while I'm looking for a good level pterodon, I'm gonna go ahead and make some bolos and some other things. And we're gonna see if we can catch one. I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, what I figured is uh, we need narcotics in order to get the trank or arrows, which is what we're going to use to get ourselves a pterodon. Because I tried a club and a club just didn't work. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build a little tiny house. Boat. And yes, there's temporary things on here, but that's okay. Because I only need a temporary amount of things until we can find an actual home. But in order to get a home, it's almost like you need a car to get a house to get a job and you need a job to get a car. <laughs> so what I did was I put down one little campfire and I put down some forges and a smithy and now we're gonna build some mortar. There. We're gonna build two of those. We're just gonna set them straight on the floor because like I said this is a raft. Rafts are temporary when it comes to how much you can put on them. Like, you can put stuff on them, but you can only put a certain amount, and then it's like, no, you're done. So, we want to go ahead and really, 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 really want to make sure that, uh, yeah, see, it already says there's too many things on the structure. So, what we can do is take this, demolish that. Then put the other one down. There we go. And technically, that's all we need for a temporary base. Two forges, a smithy, and some of these. And if we need anything else in the future, we can always lower the walls, maybe make the roof a little smaller, stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, and we're going to take our narcotic berries here. Take our echo berries and search for spoiled and again I'm on the Xbox so it takes a minute for it to spell it all out because for some reason the app on my cell phone when I bring up my Xbox app it does not want to activate when it comes to this at all it's actually kind of annoying um, it'll do it on everything else but it won't do it on arc and I don't know why that's just I guess how it wants to work let's make sure type in narc make sure I have all the narcotic narco berries that I pick no nope, sure don't do now I can drop those okay so now what we're gonna do is put the club away because we're not clubbing anything we're gonna go ahead and we're going to take out this, and this, and that's it. We're going to put those in here. And we're going to put that there, and that there. And then we're going to go to consumables, drugs. And remember kids, don't do the drugs. But we have to make the narcotics. So for this purpose, we're going to make the drugs, but we're not going to do the drugs. Alright, so that's all getting going. And while that's going, we're going to come out here and see what's going on. Alright, so what I did, if uh, you're wondering, is I went ahead and I made the pillars. And I lowered the foundation below the uh, raft. So that way, when I need to actually move the raft, if I need to move the raft, I can just grab it right here like this, and bam, we're in drive mode. And I went ahead and I put up some, let me get off, pivotal let me. There we go. And I put up some ramps right here, so that way you can get on and off. And as you can see, I went ahead and made myself some armor. I don't have any scissors yet, so obviously I'm going to have a big beard, big bushy hair. And I found myself a couple supply drops and got myself some glider wings and all that. And that shows that there is aberration in this area. Because I'm wearing glider wings for aberration. 
Alright, and then what we're gonna do is go into here. And we're gonna look up metal. Might as well get this stuff started since we're standing here. And metal has one E. There we go. Don't worry, I'll learn how to spell one day. And split that. And drop it. And oops. And bring that back over. Split. Drop. Don't worry, I'll get the hang of it. It's been a while since I played Ark. But I am getting the hang of it, so metal. There it is. Put that in there. And then go to wood. Spell it as woo. Put two of those in. Because I'm not sure how fast the consumption rate is, so I want to put that in there. And then we'll woo again. And put two more in here. And then drop the rest, because I just don't care. Actually, I do care. I need a little bit of wood. I'm going to take 300 and keep it in my inventory. Put that 300 in the smithy. Alright, so go down here. Put the wood in. Put the flint in. Put some stone in. Thatch. Maybe some hide. We're going to want this because of the fact that we're going to want to be able to build things. Get rid of that. There we go. Alright. So that will help with all the things that we need in order to build things. So let's see. Like if we go into weapons. And we go into... What is it under? Is it under... Slings? Firearms? No. Well, there's a long neck rifle, technically, and I've got some of the uh, trank darts. So what we could do is come out here and start gathering up more metal. Because as you can see, you can get metal from any rock. It's just since this is a boosted server, you get metal from every rock. Just not as much as you would normally get. So you got that. You got that. And you got that. If you hadn't noticed, my microphone thing's not on anymore. I didn't want to annoy the people, other people in the server playing by making them listen to me talk. So. Alright. And again, connection kind of messed up for some reason right now. So there's a little bit of lag and all that. Fire, like the fire, metal, and split, drop, metal again, and drop. All right, and we got our narcotics going. Yes, we do. Narcotics are making. We can actually pull out some of these narcotics now. So let's grab these. And let's grab these. All right, and now we've got some narcotics and we've got those arrows. So what we want to do is look through the list find our, there it is tranquilizing arrows and we now have 49 trank arrows all right so that's gonna work out perfect and good and happy and great all right so that's gonna work out well for us so there you have it guys so our first house here in revamped arc server boosted on the xbox and our little house we've got some narco some narcotics going we got some metal melting 
and hopefully by next episode we'll be able to actually start to tame ourselves a uh, pterodon get some aerial stuff going maybe tame a few passive tames and I will definitely see you guys on the next episode alright thanks for watching oh and don't forget if you like this drop kick that subscribe button don't forget to hit the bell in order to uh, rem be notified when I go into the videos and don't forget I also live stream and you'll be able to find my live stream because I'll inform you on YouTube which means if you have the notification bell to hit you'll also be notified when I go live in a manner of speaking and don't forget if you like what you see go ahead hit that like button and I will see you guys later